brought to you by Tamani Technologies and Systems. Tamani Technologies and Systems takes leadership in fourth industrial revolution. The whole world is facing a transformation. The revolution will be developed into the following stages. Digitization, cyber security, internet of things, managed services, document management, and business applications. We provide business transformation and ICT solutions with presence in 13 African countries and two European countries. We are your leading partner in integrated platform providers, innovation leaders, standalone products, and innovation pace setters. Tamani Technologies and Systems, delivering value across continents. I would like to welcome you as our viewers to yet another exciting episode of Tech Talk with myself Mbumi Mpama where we want to know about management and monitoring of COVID-19 using technology. Contact tracing breaks the chain of human to human transmission by identifying people who are exposed to be confirmed as cases, not quarantining them as well, following up with, with them to ensure rapid isolation and testing and treatment in case they developed uh, symptoms. So now when implemented systematically and effectively, these actions can ensure that the number of new cases generated by each confirmed case is maintained below one. Now I'm gonna go through three of the examples of how it is managed and monitored. Outbreak response tools. Now this enables electronic data capture by contact tracers directly through smartphones or tablets and streamline the data flow and data management process by avoiding data entry errors, pushing the information automatically through the system reducing processing time and improving timelines of analysis and monitoring. And also software packages may allow for automated and semi-automated analytical outputs. Now let's look at pro proximity tracing tools. Using either GPS location or Bluetooth signals, proximity tracing tools can help identify contacts by identifying when individuals have been in close physical proximity and have had prolonged contact with a case. And then we have location, um, location symptom tracking tools. Now these are based on GPS location and users. They may be used to identify people who have been in the same location as cases to fa facilitate contact identification. Now, the symptom tracking tools, they are used for self-checking and self-reporting of signs and symptoms by people through mobile phone apps and SMS technology. They can have value when traditional in-person contact tracing capacity is not possible. Now, it can be used to generate syndromic data at population level and allows for real-time monitoring, carrying of, of, of self-reported syndromatic data. Now, self-reporting symptoms tracking tools require the data to be in integrated with another or other surveillance and monitoring data in seeing all these measures put in place. Now, we want to know how photography and casting and modeling agencies ensure safety for their artists. How are these measures monitored? I'd like you to join me after the break as we speak to the world of photography and casting agents on how they ensure safety for their people. We'll go on a commercial break. Tech Talk brought to you by Tamani Technologies and System. Challenge your ordinary. Experience the extraordinary. 
not only the government, the municipality here has had no plan. Now, I believe that my peace is my most valuable asset. Absolutely beautiful! This is exactly what I was looking for! Camping, camping, camping! DJ Khaled! It is a day to celebrate. We're ready for action. I like it when it's nice and soft. Yeah, that yeah. is nice. How was it like growing up in Nigeria? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what it is. Feeling is there that, you know, you're doing something special. Stop being so dramatic, Mira. You should just be what you want to be. Experience the extraordinary with Starset. The power to defeat coronavirus is in our hands. Play your part by following these five basic precautions. Regularly wash your hands with soap and water or sanitizer for at least 20 seconds. Maintain a safe distance of at least one and a half meters from people around you. Wear a cloth mask at all times when in public. Always cough or sneeze into your elbow or tissue. If you're an employer, screen your employees daily for symptoms of COVID-19 and where appropriate, refer for testing. Working together, we can beat the coronavirus. A message from government. Welcome back. Before the break, we spoke of management and monitoring of COVID-19 using technology. Now I'd like to welcome my guests over here, Ms. Karen Kutzia from Tiny Moments Photography. Welcome. Thank you to me. Thank you for having me. It's such a big <laughs> pleasure. All right. And we have Ms. Bonnie Holland, uh, Director of Elysian Management. You're also welcome. Thank you so much. Ladies, we're going to be discussing management and monitoring of COVID-19 using technology. So I'm going to go, be, go ahead and ask you, according to your fields, mm -hmm. on, on, on how has been managed because you know uh, photography and film is is involving a lot of human contact yes, yes. It, it must be a little bit difficult to observe the regulations that have been put in place mm. to avoid the spread of COVID-19 mm. but let me start with you uh, 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 Karen how how has COVID-19 impacted the photo industry um, for me um COVID-19 actually had a huge impact on the um, photography I industry. Um, every photographer who had to earn income, yes. you know, um, the industry came to a standstill. Oh. And that was quite uh, um, bad, you know, it was thinking of things like um, social distancing you know yes. social yes. social distancing in photography is, yes. a, is a bad thing you, yeah. do, you don't do so it's, it's almost impossible it, right? it's impossible you don't do <laughs> you social. must be in the same room to yeah. do that that photography yeah, because you thing. need to have that contact with your client yes. and yes. um so social distancing is it's it's uh, it was very bad and okay. very worse to do that but you know um the other thing is looking at things like uh, just part of them is um wedding photographers yes yes and your um social uh, your um lifestyle photographers yes yes and your um product sporting photographers yes nobody could operate during lockdown okay. restrictions understandably so. so yeah yeah so that was quite and you never knew when are we going to start um actually doing photos sure um, um photos were cancer uh, photo book um Bookings were cancelled. Yes, yes. And um, some of the actually photographers had to pay back deposits. So My goodness. It, it was very bad. Yeah. And, it, and it affected it quite a lot. Yeah. Would I be correct, though, if I would say it was the beginning of the end of photography, maybe? Um, yes, but I don't think so. I okay. don't think that it's the beginning of the end for photography right. as we okay. know it, you know? Okay. Because. Um, Yes, a lot of photographers unfortunately had to sell their product, uh, their um, equipment yes. to survive. Wow. And between 80 to 100 percent of bookings were cancelled. Right, right. So it, 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 it's tough. And uh, slowly but surely, we're getting back mm. into the industry. Yeah, yeah. And talking to a lot of um, photographers out there, we have hope, you know, okay. and we believe that we'll, we'll get back. Yes. And um, we'll do whatever we like, 
loving doing that photography yes. and yes. yeah so yeah. I don't think it's the, it's never the end yeah. of the big um, and obviously there'll be measures that will be taken to make sure that your people are safe as well yeah there is measuring you know that, yeah. that you need to take um, yeah. and th things like safety yeah. doing your your temperature measuring yeah and doing yes. your uh, wearing your mask that's a very yeah. very difficult thing yeah. for a photographer to of wear course. a mask how do you know to, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah wearing that mask in yes. studio it's mm. you feel you feel like you just want to rip it off yeah. and um, yeah. doing the, the sanitizing thing yes. every time after every shoot you yes. need to sanitize everything and make sure everything is exactly uh, yeah is uh, is clean but yeah. um yeah sure but bonnie just chipping into this, mm -hmm. how has COVID-19 affected the film industry? You are in casting and film. Yes, so basically what I do is I represent the artists that are shooting on all these films okay. and soapies and series. Yes. Um, initially in the beginning, obviously it was a big shock to us all because everybody had to stop shooting. Of course. Um, some people were com compensated, some people weren't. Were not. Yes. Um, and then obviously we had level five mm. where there wasn't much we could do. Nobody yes. was allowed on set. Yeah, yeah. Which also encouraged artists to actually start getting creative in the space that they're living in. Yes. So I had one or two artists that actually shot an entire film over Zoom. Sure. It was really cool. Um, okay. But yeah, small things like that were happening. And now as we've started going back, I mean, in mm. the beginning, when everybody was trying to get used to how to work with COVID, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a domino effect yes. alone with our soapies one person gets COVID and you can't stop, you can't carry on shooting, yes. you've got to yes. stop. Yes. Um, the same things with film cinemas had shut down. Mm, mm. Um, so a lot of our local content has moved straight to TV yes. now. I know yes. that Netflix, Netflix and Netflix. Showmax have become yeah. homes for those yeah. kinds of people. Um, procedures on sets have changed. Um, there's less extras, if no extras. Yes. They're using some of the crew as extras now because they can't have so many people on sets. They've cut intimacy scenes so they've learned how to cheat the camera so it kind of looks like you're kissing but you're not <laughs> yes, you can't yes. touch each other you can't hug each other yes. so everybody's had to start thinking out of the box and start becoming creative with scripts and different kind of camera angles yeah um but I must say there is a lot of positivity we are yeah. we are learning and we are growing and we are adapting on how to how to carry on because yeah. at the end of the day we have to work we have to earn so Bonnie are you saying that technology actually helped when it comes to this because you're saying that there's a guy that, that actually did the whole film via zoom yes. so if it wasn't for technology you wouldn't have been able to do we that wouldn't have been able to do that at yeah. all I think that it it forced people to start going well what am I gonna do yeah. I can't be on set yes I need to earn a living so people how must be I digital people need to go digital which sure. is pretty much how everything has gone at the moment you mentioned a few uh, measures that have been taken to make sure that the artists are safe yes. like for example no intimate scenes now no so it has to be shot in a certain angle yes. to, as if they are close to each other yes exactly that yeah um so strict procedures have been put okay. in place um even a pick Mm. I'm not even talking about full-on makeout sessions. Yes. You're not even yes. allowed to pick people anymore. It's wow. all being changed. And I think it's just because it's a massive risk. It is. It's it a is. massive risk. Yeah. Um, and it's something that we can't play with. Yeah. Who, uh, the WHO once reported that the matter, it's a matter of life and death to be in human contact now. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. We need to take it that way. Yeah. It's very true. It's very true. It's very true. I mean, so, yeah. wearing masks has also become an extremely yeah. strict thing. Everybody on set is wearing masks. I mm. mean, I also know on a lot of the sets, everybody's wearing seven hats because wow. they can no longer have a crew of 50. Okay. That 50 crew has now gone down to 30. Sure. So the production manager is now also the stage manager yes. and working yes. the camera yes. and doing this and doing that. Yeah. Um, but we're making it work. We are. We're all adapting sure. and we're moving forward. But, but tell me though, uh, uh, Karen, how has technology featured in, in all of this? Um, you know, luckily um, we have technology. And so by doing, you have availability of, your, of a high quality, a wide range of software now. Okay. That you can use, you know, because you need still to do your editing of your photos. Yeah. And there must be something like pro-production, uh, post-production, yes. and also your uh, photographic uh, setups and yes. layouts. Yes. So 
yes, it, it helped a lot, you know, for, for us um, photographers using that. And luckily, the, these days, there's such a wide range of software that you can okay. use, and, yeah. and you can upgrade it, and you can use it, and it makes your work so much e easier. Okay. I always say that um, you can never take a, a, a bad photo, mm. but with um, technology, it yes. helps you so much to improve the end product, okay. and the end pro uh, product looks just much beautiful, and you can add extra stuff onto it, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and um, visualize things. And yes. So definitely, technology is sure. part of photography. It's, but no, it's amazing. You can't live without uh, technology. Of course. <laughs> yeah. And now you're using it even more since there's this, uh, the, the, the COVID-19. But tell us, mm -hmm. how has digital transformation featured? What, what has it done to help? Oh, it in made this a matter? huge impact, and it helped a lot in the, uh, in in this time when social distancing was um, taken away from us, mm -hmm. and you had to take photos because you need to survive, you need to have an income. Yes, and you and then the wonder of technology and of um, your digital transformation is that you can do virtual photography. Right. Mm -hmm. And that was actually like a new eye opener to us that yes. how do you do this, you yes. know, without having contact with your client, okay. now suddenly you can do a photo shoot. Yes. Your client be at in his house, you being in your studio. Wow. And through using technology like Zoom, yes, yes, you can do create this wonderful photo shoot. My goodness! And <laughs> using WhatsApp and using FaceTime, you know. Yeah. Um, to tell you the truth, I'm not actually a technology person. Yes. So yes. Thanks to my taught. Yeah. <laughs> she yeah. taught me how to do this stuff. Yes. You know? Yes. So, uh, so it made a big difference. It definitely. made a big difference. It made. Yeah. So we we can rest assured that photography is, is going to continue thanks to technology. Technology? I think so. Definitely okay. it's going to continue. Uh, for, yeah, definitely. That's wonderful. Well, it's good news. <laughs> <laughs> so we still, you know, we still have work. Yes. <laughs> yeah. no, that's great. We're going to go on a commercial break right now, and when we come back, we'll continue with the ladies. Thanks. Tech Talk brought to you by Tamani Technologies and System.
Welcome back. This is Tech Talk on Galaxy, and we are still talking about management and monitoring of COVID-19 using technology. With me right now is Ms. Janssen. Uh, she has joined us uh, with uh, Ms. Karen to continue with the discussion. You're welcome. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to hear from you. What is the new norm now in the film industry? I would probably say that the new norm is now following protocol um, mm. from not having more than 50 people at any given time on set during okay. the different scenes, yes. um, right down to having a paramedic mm. on set to take temperatures, okay. cleaning down. I mean, I think even down to the lunches, they now have to pre-pack the lunches. You sure. can't have a buffet table anymore. Okay. Okay. So I think protocol. Um, and I, I, yeah, I think the main thing is is that everybody follows that. Okay. I write down actually to the makeup. I mean, artists are either choosing to do their own makeup or having their own kits available. So everything's changing to a more personalized system, yeah. I suppose. Do you think that's a good thing? I do. I think mm. that we have to adhere to these protocols and, yeah. and take into consideration no matter what level we are on, there is a pandemic. Yes. And ignoring these things and not wearing a mask or those kinds of things is just going to carry on the spread of it. Yeah. So I think the, the quicker we get used to it, the quicker we may resume to some sort of normal life. Yeah. How are artists taking this though? Is it frustrating for them or is it something, a learning curve? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, they get that adapting? I think, you know, adapting is what we do best, I yes. think, as humans. Yes. Um, we're very capable of having to adjust what we have done and what we can do. Yes. Um, so yes, I think it is frustrating to a point. I think, um, people losing their jobs. I mean, if people are doing their own makeup, that yeah. means a makeup artist is now out of a job. Yes. So I think in that aspect, it is very frustrating. Yeah. But at the same time, I think we're all learning new skills, which okay. is not a bad thing. Yeah, sure. Now, mm. during this pandemic, uh, with, with lockdowns and, and, and all, how has this affected the business, though? What, what's the solution right now? You, yes, it had a huge impact and affected business quite a lot, you know. Um, when we actually started with lockdown five, nobody actually knew what to expect, okay. what's going to happen, what does lockdown five mean, you yeah, know? Yeah. How long is lock, lockdown five going to be? Yeah. And um, so the effect was, yes, um, you weren't sure if you're going to work, mm. you're going to have income, and if you're ever going to do gain what you love and mm. what's your passion that's photography mm. and um, so at this stage I think you uh, the solution is is not to lose hope okay you know okay. and there is there's definitely um, slowly but surely yes um, we're returning back yes um, things are getting better okay we've moved into um, level two yeah. from today yes yes and that means that you can do more certain things there's more flexibility there's now. Flex more flexibility okay. not, you're not allowed to do um location shoots without yes. permission still yes going to venues without permission yeah but there's things like studio shoots you can do studio shoots yeah um and you can go and visit your client at their house okay doing photo shoots from there yes so that's that's a possibility and you can do that mm. so i think is the solution is we, might, we mustn't get lose hope you know yeah. and you must still believe in yourself yes and you must always just just go forward you know yeah. and um because i think that um believing in yourself and one have just the possibility of knowing that you can do this yeah it's possible and then the thing is just um knowing that you're going you, you're getting back into the industry yes. and there's hope and that you can do this um, yes yeah so I, I liked what you said though before the break when you said there's also virtual uh, 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 photography Photogra now yeah so meaning that if, if the client for example is not available mm. or, or they they are scared because they don't know if you're yeah. bringing COVID to their yeah. homes or not yeah so they have the option of, of virtual photography yeah, yeah. Are, 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 are your clients adapting to to this technology <laughs> you know what? It's actually quite fun, and it's quite. Um, because it's, it's like doing the show. Mm. You never know what to expect. Yes. You never know what was going to happen. Yes. Because you put up the setup for you sitting in your place with your um, yes um, laptop. Mm. Your client is sitting with maybe with his cell phone. Yes. 
um, at the other side, mm. and everything can go wrong. Anything can go wrong, you yeah. know, because yeah. uh, zooming and making sure you, if you're not uh, at the same time at the same level, yeah, um, things can go wrong. Yes. So actually, there's a lot of fun in doing it, you know, and sure. uh, yeah. And then the other thing is you also need just to make sure that the technology and the quality is not always the same because you're working on different kinds of um, computers, a different kind of iPads. Yes. Um, so, f uh, for example, the client is sitting with a small little cell phone mm. and you're sitting with uh, yours. Oh. And you need to make okay. sure that okay. you zoom in to the angles yes, yes. that you can get actually, you must see and see your image before you can even take it. And that's difficult because yeah. you, now you, your client is, for example, in their bedroom yes. and you're in your studio and you don't know how this client's house looks like and okay. how the bedroom okay. looks like and okay. how's the lighting mm. and all those things it plays a big role so so in other words now the, the client is more involved, He's involved more now. on the technical side technical. when it comes to the virtual and photography and he needs to guide you yes. actually you know and telling you know this this part of my house is the house with the best yes. light yes. and this is the best angle and this what and you still actually asking money for this client of course you know? yeah and she's once uh, in product that's that's wow yes so um, so, so you guide them through you guide through everything. them through tell them what to do yeah and how it's going to look and how and then you just believe that it's going to yeah end of the day you're going to give them this this product they want you know they want. in results yeah wow that's a sure. different kind of photo shoots yeah yeah <laughs> so so um just tell us here uh juliet uh since there are these measures that are put in place how do you then function i'm i'm just thinking of the whole situation these yeah. measures are put in place <laughs> they're very strict and we used to you know as actors you go here you go there you go yeah, you you're, go you're free to go everywhere you, wait for three hours. you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> how, how are you now adapting to all of this um well i actually think that technology has really formed a massive part of that mm. um one of the biggest things that we've seen is how the audition process has changed okay. so usually our actors we get a brief we send it out to them they go to the casting director mm. what's happening now is there are no castings because of social distancing yes. you can only have 50 people there so what they're doing now is the first round of auditions are done by a videotape or self tape as we call okay. them okay. so actors are now using their devices whether it be cell phones some of them even have their own cameras mm -hmm. uh, their iPad and they are actually creating their scene at home okay doing their own audition with somebody reading in a family member and then we submit that to the casting director yes so that whole system has changed I see. Um, in other aspects of our industry I mean voiceovers we had to change the way we advertised our voice artists because okay. now they couldn't go to studio yes so what we did was we advertised that we had artists with home studios oh. artists went out and invested in themselves they got microphones they got all of these kinds okay. of things okay. and they can do it from the safety of their own home sure. so I think without technology we would have been in a very different situation I think artists wouldn't have had the time not the time wouldn't have been given the chance to audition yes, yes. because then they would have cut it down to five people whereas now they're still seeing everybody but it's still keeping everybody safe is this now saying that artists also need to invest in technology I so that they can keep up with the times oh 100 percent. i okay. think that i mean again our industry is so vast i mean even the commercial industry is changing mm. and i know one of a, a brand that did an entire commercial using the videotapes that the artist did at home okay. and if you don't have a cell phone or something that is giving a good quality yes you're not going to be selected because yeah. you're yeah. and it's not because of their talent but because of the quality of the tape i was going to ask that that is it this is this not jeopardizing the chances yeah. of the artists for example of course when I they mean, do the so they really need to invest yeah. it also on, changes on for agents i mean we now we don't always get to see our artists audition when they go okay. to casting directors yes. whereas we now we get to see the audition tapes uh, we're very pedantic so we watch the tapes make sure they're good quality if we feel that there's something wrong we'll contact that artist and go you need to do this again okay. so it does give room to the artists to explore what they can do do different versions yes um so yeah so i de definitely say that you have to invest in technology would i then be correct if i say this self-taping thing is monitoring 
the spread yeah. of COVID-19. Definitely. Because there's no human contact. Exactly, 100%. Most people are using, um, I mean, I actually even had an artist who had nobody, lived alone, didn't have anyone to read in. Mm. So what he did was he recorded himself doing the lines on his computer oh. and then set up his videotape to do the audition but had himself reading back. Okay. I mean, that is creative <laughs> yes, in the, the, the biggest sense of the word. <laughs> so, it yeah. Sure. <laughs> you in ph photography and Comparing the earlier days when film was uh, used and one had to physically go mm -hmm. to, an, to an establishment yeah. to convert film into uh, photo cards, um, what has changed? I mean, using the SLR cameras and all of that, for example, what, what is it that can, can, can attest to that mm -hmm. we are moving to more digital now? You, yes, you know, uh, thanks to digital cameras these days, um, there's so much different um, things uh, in, the, in the days before um, uh, digital cameras. You had to take um, your film um, to go and develop it. Yes. You know, with, with even knowing how this quality or this photo is going to look like. Yes. And I worked in a um, Photoshop many years back, and I, re I remember, you know, that. Um, the, pho the wedding photographers came in and then they given the films and you need to develop it. I remember those days. Yeah, <laughs> and you need, then you need to develop it, you know, and then you stand at that uh, machine that needs to develop it mm. and then the whole blank um, negative runs down. Mm. That's a wedding, uh, a wedding sure. negative, there's yeah. nothing. Yeah. I saw um, Photographers cried. They, there's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so now these days, with uh, the technology, in these days with your digital cameras, mm. before even taking the photo, y you just took the photo and you can see the image. Exactly. You can see the quality. Yes. yes. And you can even decide if I'm going to print this, or just keep it uh, um, in a safe place, like on on the cloud or yes. on files. Yes. But um, in those days, using it, you had to um, stake that negative and save it, uh, and save it, you know, and keep it in safe place if, if you if you need to use it again. Yes. So I yes, so I think and and thanks. Uh, I want to say again, thanks to technology. To technology, yes. Thanks to um, <laughs> yeah, to digital cameras, it's you know. Yeah. Weddings yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you have this this uh, possibility, things are of doing and in using images and can do with images whatever you want to do. You, yeah. you can take a photo now and you can send it to someone, mm. you know, and they can post it on, on, on the media, on, on social media or whatever. Those days you couldn't do that. And the, the main thing I can remember always, because I always loved photography since I was small. Yes. And um, so I made my family crazy, you know, uh, with my camera taking photos and yeah. always developing you, this. You were that little uh, irritating child I was, that always and comes I'm still, around. I'm still the one at the family <laughs> that's taking photos and uh, uh, everybody must say cheese and they yes. hate it. And they hate me for it. But um, you know that um, what I want to say now is that uh, that was uh, that's the main thing that uh, being that now you can take that photo yes. and you can use it and yes. you can do whatever you want to do. You can make something nice of it. Yes. And before he had to wait for a week, you know, when he went into the uh, Photoshop. Yes, yes. You had to wait a week for a photo to be developed. To be developed, yes. And if you go back, you see this bad photos and you need to take, if the film was 36, um, if there was a 36 film, you had to take all 36 photos and one was worse than the other. Mm. These days you can say to, to choose, okay, this is my best work, this is what I like, yeah. and this is what I'm going to do with it. Wow. So yeah, so it definitely sure. <laughs> made a big difference. <laughs> and I'm glad I'm staying and I'm working now and these days and not back. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> to technology. Thanks to technology. <laughs> Juliet, what do you think then should be done to, c to keep up with these trying times of COVID-19 in the film industry? 
I think first and foremost, like I've said before, is stick to protocol. Okay. Um, we've seen it time and time again where there's been an infection spike because somebody wasn't wearing a mask or okay. they didn't. So I think first and foremost, you know, don't forget, I know we're going into level two and we're all celebrating and we're happy, yes. Yes. but that doesn't mean that we're still not in a pandemic yes. and that there, this is here mm. and it hasn't gone anywhere yet. Okay. We're just trying to control it. So first and foremost, and I think on the other side, it's something that you said, we have to start investing into technology right, um, yes. because that is what's going to change the face of our industry. It yeah. is already. Yeah. Um, so I think individually as well as companies and production companies, we have to start investing in, in these kinds of ideas, partnering, sorry, yeah. partnering yes. with, with different people um, and coming together and just working together. I think yeah. that's another thing as well. Um, I think that's something the pandemic has actually taught us is to start working yeah. together. You mentioned something very important. You said we are on level two, but it doesn't mean that we should be careless. 100%. Because they opened the economy in actual fact. Yeah, and they had to. Yes, they had to. Of so course. things can keep running and, and the, the economy can somehow recover. Yeah. But it's not to say that people should now be careless. Exactly. Um, wear your masks. I mean, we see it again, you know, when you're driving to work, you slowly but surely you start seeing people not wearing their mask. And yes, that yes. then we will go back down to level three or level four, or level yeah. five. And nobody wants that. So no. I think utmost importance is to stick to protocol and yeah. keep going. It's hard, but we're all going through it together. Okay. Would you like to add in yes. anything to this? No, I 100% agree with it. Yeah. You know, um, I think the important thing is to be safe. Yes. And to be, um, and not to think, okay, you know what, it's level two, and I can relax now. I mm. think, yeah. And that's the main no, important thing. Yeah. I think now, things. yeah, more yeah. than because ever. Level two. Because now we're level two, and we can do all these things now, and suddenly I think we can start um, realizing that we can do things more and visiting friends yes. and yes. family and doing gatherings. And, um, and we always need to k keep that in mind that, we, l l like Juliet said, we're in lockdown. Yes. And, we, and we're still there, and it's a reality. Yeah. Yeah, so sure. de definitely. The, the ladies are confirming right now that uh, we should be monitoring and managing everything that we do in the space of COVID-19. We'll go on a commercial break, and we'll be right back. Tech Talk, brought to you by Tamani Technologies and Systems. the heat. I love Adam Selman. The girls are really thin. I think it looks very glamorous from the outside. The life of a model in New York City. There is such cool prints. So many. You know, I'm buying this. Look at me and all the selfie sort of thing. Honestly, I didn't really know that was actually a job. It just didn't occur to me. Congratulations. Feel the excitement. Feel the heat with Starset. Welcome back. This is Tech Talk on Galaxy with myself and Bumi Mbama, and we're still discussing managing and monitoring COVID-19 using technology in these trying times. We have learned that, uh, uh, like for example, in South Africa, we're now in level two, but it does not mean that it is open for us just to do anything we'd like to do and be careless. We're just opening the economy so that everything can run smoothly. But we would like to say as Tech Talk that please be safe and take care of yourself and um, follow the, the restrictions and all the things that you need to do. Wear your mask, sanitize, and do social distancing. Welcome back, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I want to talk to you about e-commerce. Um, a, a lot of people are wondering, uh, where is photography going when it comes to technology? Yeah. How, how are people, how, how, especially retailers, how are they now receiving photographs from you and all of that? Tell us about e-commerce. Yeah, e-commerce is one of the avenues that's available now for oh. photography. Okay. And, you know, COVID actually exposed us to a very um, a weakness hmm. 
in in the industry and uh, mainly social distancing and, okay. and human contact. Mm. So I think um, we now need to, to move forward and we need to address this weakness. Okay. And one of the aspects of uh, addressing this weakness will be e-commerce. Okay. And I think that we need to use looking at using more e-commerce like e-commerce um, product photography yes and e-commerce um, fashion photography mm -hmm. um, that's going to make a huge difference and that's going to create work okay now and, and, and create a new income f uh, for photographers yes um, because now with social distancing be a problem mm -hmm. you need to go and have a look like e-commerce and even selling um, merchandise online you okay. know and selling your product online or yes. or, uh, or taking maybe something like a, a merchandise does like a photo book okay you know and creating something special and nice and put it out there mm. for um, people to buy yes and like I said to create income it, it's very important till day we can be there that we can do um, without social distancing right. and and being there for you human context like I always said, that's the main thing for photography. Yes, it's you know, yes. human commerce. But luckily, we have e-commerce, and like we have these retailers that can ha that can give us a platform to to sell our products, you know, yeah. and to 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 be out there. Because to make a I, I, just to interject right there, we've noticed that during the this this pandemic, there is a lot of online shopping. A lot of online shopping. So yeah. that means that the, the, the retailers will now require a lot of photos from yeah. you guys. The, <laughs> the, 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 the wonderful thing about online shopping is now, in these days also now, in, especially now in lockdown, is if you're looking for certain kind of camera equipment okay. or something in that line, you can go onto online and you can... Ha actually view all this different kind of products that's available right. yes. all this kind of cameras all this um, reflectors all the studio lights you know you can yeah. go on the you can read everything about it okay and you can decide you can make a decision okay i want to buy this or i'm yes. going to try this and and so the, the possibility is there you know so okay. definitely and that's also the way supporting your online uh, retailers yes by going and shopping online, online. And, yes, yeah. yes it's a little bit difficult in the way that uh, if you don't see the product if you don't feed it if you don't test it okay. but there's a lot of products okay. in the photography industry that you can sell by online yeah. like, like same example your reflectors your soft boxes okay. everything like that um, and yeah. your stands everything can be uh, um, bought now yes. through online retail shopping it actually also helps with social distancing because yeah. people don't actually have to be in a supermarket yeah. to purchase the things that yeah. they want yeah. but because of technology they can shop online and uh, they get good quality of what that's they're actually true. looking for yeah, because true. if it wasn't for you using your technology and photography yeah. Yeah. they wouldn't see exactly what they're shopping that's for. that's actually mm -hmm. exactly what happened to me uh, a few months back just before lockdown started okay. one of my um, camera trickers uh, broke and I thought, okay, without that, I can't do a photo shoot in studio. I see. So then now you can go online to your shop that you support. Yes. And you can order that and that you can deliver it. And luckily, we have, we have, we're lucky that uh, the courier companies worked, you know. Yes. So yes. they could have um, delivered it for us. Okay. So that's, yeah, that definitely makes a big difference. That, that's, that's one good way <laughs> yeah, of monitoring yeah, the spread yeah. of the virus. Definitely, definitely, yeah. yeah because okay. now you're sitting with the problem, oh, what am I do? Okay, retail shopping, that's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do <that>. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Juliet, please tell us. We've seen what is happening. Uh, for example, if there would be one case of, of, of COVID, mm -hmm. of the coronavirus in a, on a set, their whole set has to close. Yes. They basically, from my understanding and experience, they basically have to go into a two-week quarantine. Sure. Um, and I think Bonnie actually mentioned it as well. It, mm. it really is a ripple or a domino effect. Yes. Um, one person going in, and you also don't know, I mean, a lot of actors, a lot of crew members, a lot of makeup artists, they work on different sets. Yes. So you're now going onto one set mm. and you get an infection, but now between finding out that there has been an infection, those other people have gone onto three different other sets. I get you. And 
now there's an infection there. So it yep. does really become a massive problem. It's not just, oh, okay, we'll quarantine that person. Okay. It becomes everyone, as it is in every industry. Yeah, of course. You know, I know my, my dad is a, a printer and one of his clients mm. had an infection, full company had to go for two okay. weeks. Okay. So yeah, it, 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 it's devastating. Because but tell us about the, the impact that coronavirus had on the film industry. It was very hectic. I mean, level five, we there was no work. Mm. You know, it was, and I think as it was with everybody, it was so, I, I want to say it was so quick. Mm -hmm. You know, you woke up one day and it was like, you can't go to work. Okay. And, you know, as much as there are budgets in place, all yes. of that changed. Yes, yes. Um, so it was, it was devastating, but again, I think, I, I try and remain positive, mm -hmm. I think that it did wake people up. Okay. Um, because, of course, none of us have been through this before. Of course, but I think protocols, I mean, <laughs> even in five years when we are past this, I think we will forever remember this as, how do you say it? Um, it, it was a time that really got us to look at our yes. structures, our protocols, exactly. our exactly. technologies, what needs improving, what doesn't. So, yes. again, I'm not taking anything away from the devastation that it did cause, of, of course. course. Yeah. But... Yeah, it was it was very hectic, even as agents. I yeah. mean, you know, I don't think a lot of people understand an agency and how we work, mm -hmm. but most agencies are commission based. Okay. So we only earn if our actors are working. I see. So now imagine you've got twenty actors working on different soaps and mm -hmm. for that level five not one of them were working. Yeah. So now it's not again the ripple effect. Yes. The artist isn't getting a salary, the agency isn't getting a commission. And so it goes. So it, we really had to pull together as an industry. So would you say that the film industry is no different from any other sectors? Oh, no, I do. I think that it is quite different. I think the okay. biggest thing being is that we can't work from home. Oh. Me as an agent, yes, of course, I can work from okay. home. But you can't, and yes, there were films being created via Zoom, mm. but that's not always the case when you yes. have a cast of 20 members, of or depending on what the storyline is. Okay. So I think the biggest difference is that in our industry, working from home is not always an option. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'd say that's probably the biggest difference. Sure. Um, directors can't, you know... <laughs> direct you from the phone call. They exactly. need to be there. They need <laughs> they to need see to what you're there. doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yes, yeah, so I think that was the biggest thing. And I think as an industry, we love being creative. Yes. And I think that lockdown really just broke people a little bit. Yeah. Karen, just, just, just on that, mm. do you think that technology is helping to, 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 to enhance photography when it comes to this? Why am I asking this? Um, she just mentioned that um, the film industry is quite different because uh, the director can't direct from home. <laughs> they need to be physically there. So with the technology that is being used currently and the ones that are still being developed, do you think we're going towards the right direction with the photography? Do you think that um, as this whole new norm is, is, has come up, do you think that technology is going to be helping quite uh, more in the future? Definitely it's going to help in the future. Like I said, going back to your um, virtual photography again, mm. you know, um, we don't know how long this is going to last now. Um, is this now like the new norm for the next year, yeah. six months? And you still have people that's afraid to come into your studio yes. for photo shooting, you know, and doing that um, direct contact. Yes. And, uh, doing that social distancing thing, um, that's a reality, you know. So I think definitely technology is going to be playing a bigger part yes. in, in the photography industry. Um, like I said, that we need to go and have a look at different kind of way of doing this. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. 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 And, 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 and actually thinking what next yes. what what is the answer on this how now? do you improve on on how the improve on this? the on the on the equipment that you have yeah because now actually and that's actually what one of the things i realized is was you have this great uh, um equipment in studio you know yes and the, your wonderful studio lights and your settings and your everything is just geared for that yeah but suddenly that's not enough. You can't use that. For, you know. For you must go to online shopping. You must, yeah. <laughs> you must do online shopping, and to to buy new technology. You now and um, like I said, going back to the virtual yes. photography yes. thing is now you had you had you need to have certain um, equipment to be able to do this virtual 
shooting. Okay. Yeah, so definitely technology is going to play a big part right. and a huge part and I think it's going to make a difference. Okay. Yeah. Ladies, we're going to go on a commercial break and uh, our viewers at home, we would like you to send your messages to us and just let us know what is it that you do in your country to make sure that you manage and uh, you manage and, and are able to make sure that COVID-19 does not spread. We are talking on safety measures and we're going to go on the break and when we come back, we'll continue with the ladies. Tech Talk brought to you by Tamani Technologies and System. Challenge your ordinary. Experience the extraordinary. Not only the government, the municipality here has had no plan. Now, I believe that my peace is my most valuable asset. Absolutely beautiful! This is exactly what I was looking for. Camping, camping, camping. DJ Khaled! It is a day to celebrate. We're ready for action. I like it when it's nice and soft. Yeah, that is yeah. nice. How was it like growing up in Nigeria? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what it is. Feeling is there that, you know, you're doing something special. Stop being so dramatic, Mira. You should just be what you want to be. Experience the extraordinary with Starset. The power to defeat coronavirus is in our hands. Play your part by following these five basic precautions. Regularly wash your hands with soap and water or sanitizer for at least 20 seconds. Maintain a safe distance of at least one and a half meters from people around you. Wear a cloth mask at all times when in public. Always cough or sneeze into your elbow or tissue. If you're an employer, screen your employees daily for symptoms of COVID-19 and where appropriate, refer for testing. Working together, we can beat the coronavirus. A message from government. Welcome back. This is Tech Talk on Galaxy, and we are still talking on management of uh, the COVID-19 using technology. I'm going to come back to you, Julie. Um, what, what does the coronavirus situation say to, to producers or productions and the viewers and film lovers at home? I think obviously one of the biggest things was that cinemas were shut down for many, many months. I of mean, course. so I think the distribution of productions has changed. Okay. Um, a massive thing is obviously online streaming, mm -hmm. Netflix, Showmax and television. Yes. Um, we're no longer going out and I think virtual events, you were talking about virtual photography, but yes. virtual events have become a massive part of yes. the COVID effect, um, as we would call it. I mean, you can watch bands live, the tickets are cheaper and you're still getting the, it's not the live experience, but yes. it's close enough. It's close enough. Um, right. So I definitely think that's been one of the biggest changes for them and that's what's going to be happening. Yeah. You are going to be streaming, Wi-Fi is going to become even more important in your life. Yes. Um, yes. Because, and I think one thing for sure is that nobody will ever give up on entertainment. Okay. So streaming, it's definitely going to be all of it is going to be online. You spoke something about movie houses not opening. Yeah. They received a huge blow yes. when it comes to revenue. Yeah. Now, wh are the people going to be adapting to this new norm of watching movies at home? Because I remember in the olden days, <laughs> people used to stay home. You get, yeah. you know, a yes. whole family of people <laughs> sitting there and watching those. But now technology is saying that you can stream online to watch movies. Mm -hmm and to listen to music. Mm -hmm. Is this part of monitoring the spirit of, of COVID-19? I do. Okay. Um, I think obviously it's preventing people from being in a group situation. Right. Although I'm pretty sure there will be protocols where you can go to the cinema and sit a, you know, seats apart. Mm -hmm. But I think the devastation of COVID was not just um, social distancing, but it yes. was also a financial devastation. Yes. Yes. And unfortunately that affects 
cinemas yeah because people don't have the money to go yes so they are going to stay home and they are going to stream yeah um so yes i think it's it's devastating to cinemas and yeah. i'm very sad one of my favorite things to do is go and <laughs> watch a movie yeah. you know and the excitement i'm very um i'm very um what is the word i'm looking for yeah. <laughs> um i'm very privileged to be able to say that i go to a lot of the local films that get yes. released on cinema yes. you know and there's nothing better than sitting in the crowd feeling proud that you're watching a south african film yes. on the screen yes you know we although, love that yeah although though that the, the movie houses are also going to take precautions and mm -hmm. they're going to follow the strict regulations that are put during the COVID-19 for example not more than 50 people will be in that yeah. and there'll be social distancing as well yeah but that also but affects still, the box office it does mm. so I think in the end it's, it's going to affect cinemas regardless of the protocols yes. and all of those said things which yeah. is very sad i do think that we will go back to a place where we will be going out to cinemas but in my personal opinion i don't know if it's going to be so soon yeah so streaming is going to be we're seeing it already i mean yes. we we saw a series come out a um, south african series blood and water it was mm. streaming on netflix yes was it netflix or showmax and yeah. it did phenomenally well it, yeah. it was number one for two weeks if i'm yes. not mistaken yes so we're seeing it already um more series are coming out yeah less films are being yes. made yes um, and it is for that reason yeah so it's it's not sticking to the movie houses it's not only the people who come in and watch the movies there are people who clean the place as well yeah and it's yeah it's going to be devastating I think it is it has been yeah. devastating yeah already um, so measures has to have to be taken they have to be taken um, and we can only hope that people will stick to them and still go and enjoy a film yeah. at the cinema. Karen, what's the solution for the photo industry? I think the solution is t um, is slowly but surely to start to rebuilding your brand. Okay. And um, like I s mentioned earlier, we mustn't blo um, lose hope now, you know. And you must still believe in yourself. Yes. And you must still believe in your product. Yes. And the way you... D um, because I think... COVID gave us l less confidence now, you okay. know, because you suddenly don't have this contact with people. Yes. You don't actually do what you love. Yes. Um, in my case, being photography now. Yes. And yes. you're actually lo losing, um, what is the word? You're losing confidence. Yes. In can I do this? Yes. Actually. But the main thing is, and I think that's what's keeping me uh, uh, going, is that this shall pass yes this is gonna go over yes so the solution for me is just put yourself out yeah. there and start doing branding rebranding rebranding you said something very important yeah. rebrand Re -brand yourself would you agree yeah. Julius? yes I, I think i would also add um don't be afraid to learn new skills yeah. yes um i think you know even myself sometimes there's new technology out there that i'm you know especially social media driven as well and yes. you know i do the social media for my company okay. and there's always a different thing to learn every yes. day yes. and i think that's the biggest thing don't be afraid to learn yeah. new skills yes. during this time yeah. wonderful yeah. ladies thank you very much for joining us Thanks in today's episode us. and we have heard a lot on how you're going to be monitoring um, the COVID-19 using technology. Our viewers out there, uh, we hope that you have learned a lot from the film industry and for the pho photography industry on how COVID-19 is managed. We're going to go now and we will be seeing you on the next episode of Tech Talk with myself and Pumim Bama next week. Just make sure you send those messages, messages from uh, Ethiopia, from Ghana, all of them. Please send us. We would like to see what you are saying to us and what you think. Now, don't forget, we want to know what you have been inventing. We're going to go back in a few, uh, a, few, uh, a few episodes and just see what you have invented and invite you into studio and take that up with you. Thank you very much for joining us and have yourself a great time. Tech Talk brought to you by Tamani Technologies and Systems. Tamani Technologies and Systems takes leadership in fourth industrial revolution. The whole world is facing a transformation. The revolution will be developed into the following stages. Digitization, cyber security, internet of things, managed services, document management and business applications. We provide business transformation and ICT solutions with presence in 13 African countries and two European countries. 
We are your leading partner in integrated platform providers, innovation leaders, standalone products, and innovation pace setters. Tamani Technologies and Systems, delivering value across continents.